Today, we want to demonstrate how Zscaler Deception can be used to detect the recent vulnerability on Log4j, nicknamed Log4Shell. What we've done is we've deployed a decoy using a feature that we call Parameter App Decoys to the internet on a subdomain that we call webservices.choicecorp.net. This subdomain currently hosts a vulnerable version of Apache Solar. What I first want to demonstrate to you is if I was to browse to this decoy, that it is ultra realistic. You can click into it just as you would the real application and it even shows you the data just as if it was the real application. So the realism of this decoy is absolutely comparable to the real instance of Apache Solar. Now what we're going to do is we're going to fire the log4j exploit towards this decoy and see how zscaler deception can be used to detect this particular attack. We're going to plug the attack into the URL and one of the things that we need to understand about this exploit is it does not actually show that the exploit has been successful in the response and there's an out of band mechanism that defenders will have to use to check whether their applications were vulnerable or not. But however, this is a decoy and what we are interested in is understanding the source from which attacks are currently taking place against our external infrastructure. So if we go back into the console to the investigate tab, we now see a red icon that indicates that an adversary has been actively engaging with the decoy. If you were to expand into the details, we see that the adversary has interacted with uh, the subdomain web services, which is where we have hosted our vulnerable version of Apache Solar. If you click on the attacker, uh, what we'll be able to see uh, is the threat parse. And what the threat parse tells us is the fact that the log4j CVE issue has been actively exploited against this decoy. Clicking into this allows us to get details about the vulnerability, what we can do to fix it, MITRE ADT and CK mapping, and the most important fields that are required by for a defender to be able to take action on this alert. 